Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics build here today. Yesterday we started this sort of pre-footer section and added our quick links right here. Today let's just add a quick Google map to the middle here. Okay. I made an executive decision. Um, our bottom bar right here, now we've built this section, I think it should be a bit darker. I'm using Google Chrome here. If I look at it with the inspector, I think we can make it quite a bit darker here. Where is it? Let's inspect it. Right click and inspect. There's the footer right there. It's 444 at the moment. I don't like to make it darker. Let's what if we take it down to 222. Yeah, I think that just looks better now we've got the blue there. And if we look over here, it says custom CSS. So it's in our custom CSS and it's on line 317. So here's our root folder. Here's all the pages that we created, .html files. Here's our custom CSS. I'm going to open it with my text editor. If you don't have a text editor, Brackets is absolutely free and you can download it from a link below this video. Now that was on line 317, wasn't it? We need to change it to 222. There's 317 for the background, 222. 222 save and that's that taken care of move this out of the way when I refresh that'll stay exactly the same there we go it stayed that dark color all right let's get our Google map and I haven't actually got an address for this because it's it's a fictitious site here so let's just open a new tab and go to Google or Google Maps And we'll just search for a well-known address. How about something like Empire State Building or something? Let's put in Empire. There it is right there. Obviously, you'd have an address that you wanted to put in there if you've got a real physical location. And I want to zoom out a little bit so we've got some of the waterways in there something like that okay so we want to put it on our website so what we're going to do we're going to go down to the share button we're going to hit the embed a map tab right here copy the html now let's go back to our features page where we were features.html Here's our pre footer. Here's our quick links. Here's our second column where we want to actually put the map itself. So I guess we'll give it a heading just like we have on this one. Let's paste that code in there before I do that. I'm putting it in column two. It's just an iframe. There it is right there. Now the important thing at the moment, it's 600 wide and it's 450 deep. Well, probably not gonna want it 450 deep, definitely won't need it 600 wide. So let's try 300 deep. I'm guessing we can change this in a minute. This is pixels, 300. And I'm gonna make it 100% wide so it'll stretch to fill the available space of the container which is this column right here and I also want to put in a title like we did above I just want to tab this across a little bit so here we put in a title on H3 I'm just going to steal that I'm going to put it above our little map there I'm going to say location 
and we'll see what else we need to do I think I might have to put that map inside something to make it might have to put it into a div so let's save this control s see what we've got go back to the site here's the site let's refresh okay yep there's our map and as you can see it's a live map but I do I think I want it to be a bit smaller so I'm gonna put it inside a div and I'm gonna have a bit of padding i will drop it down a little bit and squish it in a little bit because I just want it a little bit smaller than that it's almost there so let's go back to our HTML what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this iframe here in a div of its own and I'll give it a bit of padding start with a div and I'm gonna give it some of the bootstrap four classes I'm gonna give it some padding to start with so it'll squash it in a bit from the size so let's try padding say four I think five will be too much don't think three will be enough and I'll give it a margin on the top to knock it down a bit of four so M for margin T for top and four and it goes from one to five one being the smallest amount five being the largest amount I believe it's measured in M's which is the default size of your paragraph font which I think by default is 16 picks okay that closing div tag we want to put after our iframe here so we've wrapped our iframe in it and let's just push that one across where it should be okay so we've wrapped our div uh, wrapped our iframe in a div with a class of padding 4 so it's got 4 m's of padding all around it and margin top of 4 so it should drop it down a little bit let's save that and see what we've actually got here now when I refresh this should drop down a little bit about this much and it should go slightly smaller because of that padding let's try that great I'm happy with that I think I could shrink it up just a little bit more let's see what we've got in the way of height there I think it was 300 let's perhaps take it down to I don't know don't want it down too much say 270 obviously you have yours exactly how you want that will be pixels control s back to the site now when I refresh we should have lost 30 pixels off the bottom there that's fine that's going to work absolutely fine okay so that's how to add a live google map to your pre footer real easy we'll be doing this again in the in the contact us page where i'll do a full width google map and we won't have this pre footer on that page so that's great i hope you've enjoyed that very easy to do if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.